Hello, Poundland, London, UK, what else? Poundland, here I am. In this episode of Vivian Tries, there is adult language. If you're easily offended, please turn the video off now. Hello, you guys, and welcome back to another Vivian Tries. Oh my God, it feels so good to be back. I went to VidCon London. That was absolutely amazing. I went to Rome, Italy. I went to Paris, France, and I went to obviously London where VidCon was. I got a lot of things to show you guys. You should follow me on Instagram and on Facebook because I posted a lot of video clips from my trip. It was freaking amazing. I think I'm moving to London. I loved it so much. Paris is another story. We'll talk about that one later. But today, for the first time ever on Vivian Tries, I have for you 10 items from Poundland, which is the Dollar Tree of the UK. <laughs> All the way in the UK, they have these balloons. You guys remember these? I did these in a video. I didn't like them. You guys have no clue what I had to do to get to this store. I was staying in central London, like in the middle of all the action, and I asked around for a pound store, and they said, mm -mm, you gotta go into the hood. <laughs> central London didn't have that. At least the one I found that was closest to me was in like a bazaar. That's what we call them here, it's like a bazaar, like a mall that's kind of like all the good stores left because it's the hood. <laughs> Anyway, let's move on. I almost died for this stuff. That's all I wanted to tell you. Number one, these are love scratch cards from Pound Land. I think they're like scratch offs, like the lottery ticket, <laughs> but it's for your lover. It's for favors, I think. Listen, the Poundland people, that place is not for children. There is one thing on this table that it's kind of like adult only. These might be too. I don't know. But they're cute as hell. I had to see what they said. What? Wait a second. Oh my God, how cute. I thought that they already came like pre-printed, but no. So what you're gonna do is, how fucking cute are these guys? You're gonna write a message for your lover and then you stick on the scratchy part. So you take it off and then you put it over your message and then your lover scratches it off. And then he has to give you a massage. <laughs> They're not favors for him, they're favors for you. Okay, so you get one, two, three, four, so you get five scratch offs. He gets one, you get four. That's fair. <laughs> How fun. So let's make one. Write and reveal your secret love notes. Yes. I, I say spice it up. Favors, right? When your lover is being good, you give him a ticket, a scratch off ticket. <laughs> they hit the line. <laughs> This is a good game. You shit, there is a lot of things you can do with this. There's my secret note for my lover. These are totally worth a dollar. I would have paid more for these. Here's the scratch off sticker. Oh my god. I want these. Can I order these online? I want more. Place it on over your secret message like that. I did it up. <laughs> I'm, I, I fucked that up. <laughs> it goes the other way. It still looks good. It covers up my message. That's all that matters. Let's scratch it off. <laughs> this is so fucking cute for adult. Yes, there's my secret message. Oh my God, I need a thousand of these. Now I gotta do it. See if it's in writing, you have to follow through. <laughs> You can't just promise something and then be like, eh, I can't do it. Because now he has it in writing. That, that's valid if it's in writing. So I'm going to give the Love Scratch Cards five Vivian heads. Number two, thermal bags, which reminded me of 
the toaster bag. Do you remember this video that I did? I think it was like over a year ago now. In the picture, the bags look like they're sandwich size. So I bought them for that. I hope they're not like that big giant bag that you buy. Have you seen those? <laughs> better be sandwich size because you can take snacks with you. Ice cream. <laughs> no, not ice cream. Ooh, I only get one. Ooh, wait a second. These are nice. They're thick. This is the toaster bag and this is the thermal bag. I like this. How, do they sell these here? I haven't seen them. If you've seen these at Walmart, you need to let me know because this is, I love this. I brought up a frozen artichoke burger. This one has just been in my fridge forever, so it might have like frostbite. <laughs> Don't judge me. I'm sure there's some shit in your, oh, actually no. <laughs> I'm even gonna say that. I mean, they have a little bit of frostbite, but it's, it's not horrible. So yeah, these are like veggie burgers that I would put frozen things in it to see if it kept them cold. Haha. <laughs> I'm sure it's not gonna keep ice cream cold, but you know what I mean, cold snacks. Hey, a lot of stuff fits in here. We're gonna put it to the side to see if the thermal bag is gonna keep my patties frozen or with some ice or something, right? Number three, female heat pads for that time of the month. Two heat pads last up to eight hours, works instantly, and they are discreet and comfortable. So when you have cramps, you just stick one of these on your tummy and boom, heat. I've never thought that was comfortable. I'll just take two Tylenol, but putting something on me that is hot to me is not comfortable. So I would never use this, but I thought it was interesting. For $1, you get two pads. They're not. <laughs> okay, I just said time of the month, female pads. These don't go on, these don't go, these. <laughs> these don't go there okay these are for your tummy like this ideal for period pain stomach cramps and back pain oh so you can put them on your back too simply apply them to clothes or underwear do not apply directly to your skin okay i'm gonna put it on my skin is that horrible should i just like that's not gonna that's not gonna Penetrate. Ooh, it kind of looks like the ones we had from the Japanese dollar store. It says, do not apply directly onto your skin. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's warning number one. Do not use whilst. Oh, the Brits have just the best English ever. I left with a British accent. I'm like Madonna, but my husband told me, cut that shit out. <laughs> <laughs> you're Puerto Rican living in Texas. You're not from the UK. I love that accent though. It's sexy as fuck. <laughs> so we take the covering off. I'm gonna put it on my skin for like five seconds. Let's see. I definitely feel it. The heat, definitely a slow burn. It's not hot, hot. Don't do this. Put it on your underwear like they're advising. It's, they're too big for my underwear. That's a big, who the hell's wearing? <laughs> That's a lot of coverage right here. I wonder if we can cut them. No, you probably can't because the shit's gonna leak out. I would use these on my back. Maybe it'll get a little hotter, but right now the heat is like, it's a dollar. <laughs> I mean, it's a pound. It's a quid. I heard a lot of people saying quid or quin, quid. I think in the UK, one quid or one pound means the same thing. If I'm wrong, please let me know in the comments down below. Number four. Our next item are these little guys. They're so cute. I just had to buy them because they're fucking adorable. And Easter is coming up. I got little chicks. 18 little chicks. They're so cute. For one pound, I love them. Oh, I'm about to kill them now. For all the kids, for Easter. Your nephews are gonna love you. My nephews are gonna love me. I'm gonna recycle some of these. <laughs> you get 18 of them, that's pretty good for one pound. Look at all my beautiful little chicks. I have a farm now. <laughs> you can put them on a cupcake or put them in, I don't know, like get crafty. Like DIY some shit and let me know. How would you use these guys? So I'm gonna give my little baby chicks five Vivian heads. Okay guys, y'all gotta scoot over because we gotta move on. Go, 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 go. No pushing, no pushing. Calm, everybody. I wonder if you're supposed to put it on your underwear and then have this side have contact with your skin. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, 
this and then put it on like that. So the heat is actually touching your tummy. Ah, but it's still not hot enough. This thing is just warm. It's not giving off a lot of heat. Unless I was supposed to activate it. Do I act? <laughs> the instructions didn't say shit about activation. So uh, no, I did it right. So I'm gonna give the little heat pads to Vivian heads. Number five. It is an inflatable beer. I hope it's like that big. I don't think so. It's probably like tiny, but I thought it was funny. No, it's pretty big. For one to, oh, and it has suction cups in the back. For what purpose? Okay, let's blow this shit up. How cute is this? That is adorable for a party. And then it has the little suction cups in the back. If it stays up for the entire video, it's getting five Vivian heads. If it doesn't, it's still getting five Vivian heads because I love it. This is worth a pound. Next item. Number six. Charcoal nose pore strips with peppermint and witch hazel. Oh, I'm gonna feel real refreshed. Nose is wet or moist as they say in, they look just like ours. <laughs> It's probably the same damn company. While that keeps working, let's move on to the next thing. Number seven. The black hole. Where you put a quarter and then it just goes like down like that. <laughs> what is this? Ah, <laughs> entertainment for hours. You don't have to go to the mall anymore. Got it. Do you see? So you put your quarter in there and then it goes choo, 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 choo. Ready? One, two, three, go. Yeah, did you see? Just like the mall. <laughs> hours and hours. Hi, why do we fall for this at the mall? They're just taking our money for nothing. I'm gonna come to your house and I'm gonna be like, hey, collecting quarters. This is hours and hours of fun for the kids. Give it to them for Christmas, have them go around the Christmas party and have everybody donate. <laughs> Not really donate, play. They can collect some money with this one. So I'm gonna give the black hole three Vivian heads. Number eight, the granite rock pan. I'm just kidding. <laughs> it sure looks like it's cousin though, but this is made out of aluminum foil. <laughs> this is so thin. This is like one time use only. It says it's non-stick. They all say it's non-stick. Okay, so let's fry an egg. Let's see what happens. We always have to do the egg test, right? So let's go ahead and take it off. Nothing at all. Not even a little bit. So I'm gonna give the nose strips zero Vivian heads. The one from the Japanese dollar store doesn't seem as thin as this thing. This thing is like paper. It's already burned. You can see there, I have it on low. Here is the pan. It started burning, but here we go. I'm gonna put it down. Do you see the smoke? I would not, oh my, it smells like chemicals in, no. Oh my God, is this shit gonna light on? Oh no, that cannot be healthy. I'm gonna say just skip out on this. If you are near a pound store, do not buy. Oh my, listen. It was a pound. I'm not expecting a lot. This one did a thousand times better than this guy. The fumes that were coming off of here scared the hell out of me. So I'm gonna give the pound land pan zero Vivian heads. That's two zeros in one video. That's not good. Number nine, handy strap. For storage of cables, pipes, bikes, luggage, oh. What I thought it was when I picked it up, I thought, you know how, at least in the US, they have this gadget that you can use to carry like your grocery bags all in one. I thought this was something similar. Doesn't it look like that? Like you could put all your grocery bags in here and then carry it with this? Oh, you put it in like that. Oh, see, you could use it for groceries. If you have like five bags in your car, you know how you try to grab everything at once and you put it all on your arm like that and then you try to walk inside with like 75 pounds of groceries on one arm and your arm feels like it's gonna fall off. Have you ever done that? I do it all the time. I think that you could put all those bags in here, then close this thing like this, right? And then carry your groceries. For one pound, hell yes! My beer is staying up. I'm very proud of that. This is a good find. So I'm gonna give the handy strap five Vivian heads. 
Number 10. I'm going to wear gloves and possibly a mask because I don't know the return policy. <laughs> Listen, I don't know the return policy, if there is a return policy at Poundland, but this one should not be allowed to be returned if they do have a return or exchange policy. Absolutely not. I don't even know why this product is at a Poundland. This kind of product is more for like a Spencer's or some wacky kind of adult section of a store. <laughs> They would never sell anything like this at Dollar Tree, but this is it, folks. <laughs> it's for lifting and strengthening a muscle. This better be brand new. Oh my God, just thinking about it makes me fucking creep. Oh no, it has tape. It has tape, you guys, so it is brand new. Those of you who still have no idea what the hell this is, it's not a miniature set. <laughs> Europeans have a great sense of humor, and I love that. <laughs> I can't even say it, like I'm blushing. <laughs> <laughs> this is a really weight. It says for the most important muscle. What buyer at Poundland approved this shit? Like, yeah, order me a pallet of those really weights. <laughs> but could you imagine the stock boy putting these out? <laughs> a workout for your willy. If you don't know what a willy is, I want you to Google that shit because I'm not about to educate you. So let's go ahead and open it. I'm still not touching it without my gloves. I don't know where this has been. Listen. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not about to get pregnant on this video. <laughs> You're an idiot. <laughs> Do you guys remember the famous banana? I'm only gonna use it once, so pay attention. <laughs> oh my God. This is so wrong on so many levels, you guys. <laughs> I don't wanna touch it. I'm gonna touch the outside corners of it like this. That Poundland buyer has a great sense of humor. After this video, I'm going to have to disinfect my banana. So here's your banana, and then... <laughs> what do you think? Oh, my, this, my banana's thick. My banana's too thick for this, but we can shape it. There we go. <laughs> this is like a gag gift, right? Like, people don't really... <laughs> if you're in the UK and you have a willy weight lift, please raise your hand in the comment. <laughs> this is like a bachelorette gift, right? It's make... What the fuck? The packaging is getting me more than this damn thing. Keep it up. <laughs> Could you deadlift this weight? <laughs> okay, so we're gonna throw this away now. So I'm gonna give the willy weight lift three. Vivian heads. Oh my god, put it away. Now let's go back to our veggie burgers. Ooh, they have! Look! They still have ice crystals in it. So I'm gonna give the Thermo bag five Vivian heads. Don't forget part two of this video, which is gonna be our Rome edition, will be coming really soon. So don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so that you don't miss that video. I almost forgot about my beer. It stayed up the entire video. So I'm gonna give it five Vivian heads. All right, you guys, so that is it for another Vivian Tries. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you have, don't forget to give it a big fat thumbs up for me. In the comments down below, let me know if you've seen a cool dollar store product that you think I should try and it might get featured in an upcoming episode. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. I'm putting out one to two videos every week for your entertainment. Don't forget to share the video with your family and your friends, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Really quick, if you're wondering about the UK, I have a whole list here of things I didn't like. The crime, pickpocketers everywhere in central London. Oh my God. Nobody gives you ice in Rome, in Paris, and in London. I got one little cube of ice. What is up with that? Like in the, <laughs> in the US, I have to tell them, easy ice, mofo. I want, <laughs> I want some Diet Dr. Pepper with that ice. In the UK, you get one little sad floating piece of ice cube in your drink. I didn't get it. Soda flavors. I had a Coke Zero mango. I had a Coke Zero ginger. I had a Coke Zero lime. And I am now exposing Dr. Pepper because yes, we have Diet Dr. Pepper here, but we don't have Dr. Pepper Zero. They had that shit in the UK. What's going on? You've been exposed. I need that in my life. I need you to bring it here. I'm putting in my request now. In Paris, all those motherfuckers are rude. I apologize if you're from Paris, but fuck, it's just the culture. People are rude. They charge extra for everything. I went to Starbucks 
ordered a coffee, they charged me for the cup. <laughs> Just include it like they do in the U.S. Those motherfuckers, I looked at my receipt. It's like coffee, three seventy-five, cup, fifty cents. <laughs> Is the cup optional? <laughs> I don't want it. Don't don't do that. Just give me a price and then that's it. You want a napkin? Ten cent. I'm just kidding. It wasn't that bad, but shit, don't traffic and then customs. It took me two and a half hours to get through customs. Are y'all nuts? Listen to me. I'll pay extra to get through some speedy, skip the line kind of line through the customs. That was out fucking rages. That is my list of complaints for London. Other than that, I absolutely love it and I will be going back very soon.